Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all my wonderful Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Monday, y'all. Hey, listen, let me tell y'all something. After my morning run, I just be on 10. <laughs> ah! All right, listen, let's get straight into it, right? Again, we're moving towards a full moon. I want everybody to just know exactly what to expect moving towards a full moon. I know you all are just excited about life just like I am, right? So I know you set your intentions already this morning. I know you're having a great day because what? That's the intention you set. So let's do this thing. Let's do it. By now, you know, this is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Let's go. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Leos. L to the E to the L, L, L. Yes, in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my caring? Living a great life. I ain't going back and forth with y'all crazy people. <laughs> That's what y'all should be singing. Like, I'm not going back and forth with y'all third dimensional people, right? You're not going back and forth with the people in your job, people in your family, people in your whatever. I'm not, I'm not doing that, right? That's your, that should be your theme song in your mind. Like, I'm not going back and forth with foolishness anymore. Yes, yeah, so you're living a great life. Very optimistic, natural leader, kind and protective, very loyal, honest, vivacious, creative, passionate, generous, warm-hearted, cheerful, humorous. Yes, gods and goddesses. Recognize. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yes, in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful, amazing Leos? Yes, Leos. Whew. I'm telling y'all, you can, you take a morning walk or some, get some morning sun or whatever. I'm talking about that vitamin D and it'll set your whole day straight. I'm telling you, get out there and take those nature walks, be amongst the birds and the trees and the water and the all of the elements and just all of that. This is nice. I'm liking this already. Loving, loving, loving. So listen, Leo, I need y'all to stay focused, okay? Leos, I need y'all to stay focused. Boom, legacy wealth, right? This is what you're working towards. No more third dimensional activity, right? Don't get caught up in conversations that just don't serve your highest purpose. You know, don't even give energy to it. You should be focusing on your legacy wealth. Some of you all should be expecting to receive money. That's right. Expect it. Go watch my shorts video. You should be go expecting. This is a day of great expectations. Expect wonderful things to happen. Here we have the temperance card. A lot of you all have guardian angels watching over you. You know, you have a loved one who has Sagittarius in their chart, that fire in their chart while they were in this realm. They are watching over you heavily. They're like blocking. They're like, watch out. They're blocking out every single thing that is trying to come up against you that's designed to hurt you, to steal, kill, and destroy that thing in you to, that's, that would block you from your legacy wealth, right? You don't even have to worry about it. Y'all can walk through your day. You can put a smile on your face. You can relax. You can relax your shoulders. You know, chin up, feeling great about life. Why? Because you already have protection all around you. This is how you should be, the sun. This is your card. This is your ruling planet, the sun. I want you all to shine so bright. I don't care. They, they need to put on some sunglasses. You know, some people are going to back out of the room. Some people are going to have an issue or problem. But guess what? That's not your issue or problem. You're going to continue shining bright like the sun that you are. And we know that the sun is a star. The sun is not a planet, right? The sun is a star. So sail away. I see a lot of y'all sailing away from things that don't serve your highest purpose. Things that are just chaos, confusion, dysfunction, and people who enable other people to hold nine yards. You're sailing away from all of that towards your calm, peace, and serenity. Yes. No more challenging relationships, okay? You have mental dexterity. You're able to do multiple things successfully at once, right? Some of y'all are writing books. Some of y'all are reading books, you know, reading more material. Some of y'all manuscripts, you know. Um, but you're able to, you're, you already know from your past challenging relationships that you're able to walk a tightrope, read or write a book, come up with great ideas, all with a smile on your face, hair blown in the wind or whatever. So what I'm saying to you is that you all are able to not look like what you come through. Like 
you know, some people don't look like the storms that they just came out of. You would never know the person had gone to Hades and back, and also some people call it hell, have gone through hell and back because your out appearance, your outward appearance doesn't look that, right? Right. Okay, so let's move forward. We're not doing a number today. We're going to be doing numbers. I'm going to try to switch it up and do numbers on my Sunday readings, but so I'm just going to give y'all a straight reading today. So, yeah. You don't want challenging relationships, whether it's in the workplace, and I'm talking about everything under the relationship umbrella, in the workplace, family members, whatever, platonic, professional, romantic, whatever. You do not, at this point, at this stage in your life, you got to know that you're protected. You're walking into a room, you're shining bright, you're not dimming your light anymore. None of that. And you could, let me tell you something, Leos, you couldn't dim your light even if you wanted to. You could walk in a room with a potato sack on your head with your eyes cut out of the potato sack and you still couldn't dim your light, right? So don't try to fit into other people's, um, you know, way of how they want you to be. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself right? because you got some wonderful things happening. Like I said, legacy wealth. Um, some of y'all, hold on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Midas touch. Right? This right here, King of Pentacles, Midas Touch. You have the Midas Touch. You're heading in the right direction. Some people just need the conf confirmation. Am I headed in the right direction? Big, bold, underlined, italicized, yes. Yes, you are. Anything that's a challenging relationship for you, address it head on. Not being passive aggressive, none of that. Address it straight up. You got a colleague that's, you know, acting out of source, talking out the side of their neck. Hey, let me talk to you for a minute. You know, pull them to the side very nicely. What was all of that about? What was that? Because you want to give them an opportunity to explain themselves. A lot of people got a lot of things going on in their personal lives and they bring that into the workplace, right? But you don't want to carry that burden around with you all day long. Family members acting out of source. Remember I told you we moving towards a full moon, right? So... People start, things in them are starting to become exposed, okay? So people are having very vivid dreams about things. That's just like setting them out of balance when, you know, as they come in contact with you and they just seem like they're off or whatever. If you care enough, just ask, like, what's going on, right? Because you want to make sure you're not carrying that around, right? So yes, you don't have to, you, I always say you don't have to ever be in any tricky relationships. That's what you got a mouth for, communicate, say something, speak it. Just, just come right out and say like, well, do we need to have a conversation? Do we need to talk? You know, you already know what's happening. You know, we're moving towards a full moon. You want to put yourself back in sync and in perfect harmony, internal sync, right? Yes. So things don't have to be difficult. Some of you all actually just need to cut some relationships off. Again, it could be platonic, it could be uh, professional, it could be romantic. But some people need to cut off some relationship because it is absolutely disrupting the flow of your money. If you need to do that, don't let another moon cycle happen without moving on with your life, right? So that's what I see right here. And you have a guardian angel watching over you. And look at this. Look. Look how many of your ancestors you have around you watching you. They're like, Leo, knock, knock, knock. <laughs> like, why are you still in that difficult relationship? You've been giving it a lot of thought. Why are you still there? Some of y'all have already left some difficult relationships, and I hope you're not even thinking about going back. Don't replay that same old record in your head until it's scratched. You know, that. don't, don't do that to yourself. That's torture. You're moving towards brighter days you're moving towards more money and we're not talking about like money is just the only thing out here that's just one resource but you're moving towards your soul tribe which is on the same frequency as you you're moving towards more energy it's going to feel like you have a second wind you're moving towards greater you're moving towards where you should have always been which is wealthy <laughs> ka-ching hello the right soul tribe, you're moving towards just the right circle of people. And I'm talking about, we're not talking about just a wealthy circle of people. We're talking about wealth of knowledge, health being wealth. We're talking about financially stable people out here that's doing their thing. Not people that's talking about God, third, third dimension mess, gossiping about people, backbiting, seeing you as competition. We're not talking about that. We're talking about at, a, at, a, at another frequency, at a higher frequency. It's not all of that. Trust. Trust and believe me when I tell you. Also, being in a posture of gratitude is going to help you significantly. Just staying in that posture of gratitude. Whew. 
thank you, I'm no longer with that person. Not because the person is bad, but because, listen, I finally learned how to create very healthy boundaries for myself and to protect my energy. Yes, I finally did it. Boldly and unapologetically, I'm protecting my energy. And if that means it's rubbing some people the wrong way, then so be it. But I want to sleep well at night, right? So again, being grateful, being in a posture of gratitude. Yes, queen of pentacles. It's something about when you create very healthy boundaries, you're continuing to operate in love. You're not trying to hurt people. You're not being offensive to anybody. Well, you're going to offend some people anyway just by just being the son. <laughs> but that is not your problem. Listen, so some people are just, they wake up with their face looking like they're sucking on a lemon, right? They just upset just at just whatever. But that's not your problem. Again, what I'm saying, you're not intentionally trying to hurt anybody. You're not trying to intentionally offend anybody. So my point is to you is that when you create very healthy boundaries, I mean, it affects every area of your life. I'm talking about in a great way, right? It, um, it helps you not to become a low vibrating Leo. You don't need to be competitive. Who is your competition? Nobody except the person in the mirror. You don't have any competition. Listen, you don't need to become jealous of anybody. You don't need to um, try to dominate anybody. You don't have to become dogmatic or prideful. You don't have to become lazy because you're just drained from all being, being around energy vampires. You don't have to be inflexible. You don't have to even come off as arrogant at all. You never have to be that. Never. All you have to do is set very healthy boundaries. You all are already relatable you know, connected to your money. You can relate to a lot of things. A lot of people, you're already very compassionate. You already care deeply about people, but I'm trying to help y'all not to get fixated on people who can't come into that next chapter of your life with you. Y'all see what I'm saying? Good. Okay. All right. All right. So yeah. And when this is, this is how you emotionally hit the jackpot, y'all. Listen, see this person jumping out of this treasure chest? Yes, she's just excited about life. She or he, however you identify, is just excited about life. And that is you. That's what I'm talking about. Happy Monday, y'all. I don't care if you have to log into, you know, your work computer, if you're teleworking or whatever. I don't care if you have to log into your work computer and you know, okay, all you see is just other spirits in there. I mean, I'm talking about other, y'all know what I'm talking about, the people who chooses to, uh, choose the carnal side of themselves. If you have to deal with all of that, let your light shine so bright. They either disconnect from the computer or they just, they just said, well, you know, I just need, I need a day off. <laughs> they don't even realize that you are vitamin D. Your energy is vitamin D. It's medicine for them, right? Some people are just not ready to take it to the next level. But again, not your problem, not your issue. Just keep shining bright. But this is, this is like I said, setting boundaries for you is great. And then continue falling deeper in love with yourself, right? It's not selfish. It's self-care. It is self-care. So do what you need to do to get those divine masculine, divine feminine hands together to make a whole complete Leo. Yes, you're not. nothing is lacking. Nothing is missing within you. That's what you have to recognize within yourself. Yes, a lot of emotion, a lot of money here, right? So again, you're going to have to leave some people behind. Some of y'all already left some people behind and, um, you know, you may be feeling some kind of way on today. Don't feel any kind of way. You left them behind. They're part of your past. You know, they gave you the scissors to cut them out of your life. So, hey, if they gave you the scissors, I'm not sure what you're trying to go back down memory lane about. It's over. Wrote a song about it. Like the here, here, go. <laughs> No, seriously, not trying to make light of anything, but for real, I mean, if a relationship is over, it's just over. The person couldn't go to the next chapter with you, you know, rejoice, rejoice. There's new people coming into your life, new energy coming into your life, higher frequency coming into your life, burning bowl ritual. That's right. Get that bowl out and get that, get that flame going or the blowtorch. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you. We got all this fire up here and a burning bowl ritual. Some people need to just be, I'm talking about their name needs to be burned to a crisp. They need to be out of your life. Just be gone like the Sandman. Out of your life. Get that, get that, 
that cane, get them out your life, and keep it moving forward. That is what I have for you, Leos. I hope you all had a fantastic Monday, but then again, I know you are already because that's the intention you set. So y'all just keep on shining. Just keep glistening and shining. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Have a great one. Bye.